Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy and very chilly, but it is Friday, the, my favorite day of the week. You noticed on the board, we have loaded additional sessions up on YouTube. So if you have someone who is not familiar with Body Recall and they're hesitant or are unable to navigate the church's website, have them do a search, Body Recall, on YouTube. You will not only see those sessions, and they're labeled, the new ones are labeled Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, because you know we do different routines on, uh, especially Monday and Wednesday. So that's available to you and to your friends. Also, when you Google Body Recall on YouTube, you will see some instructors of Body Recall explaining the program, and those videos are from 10 and 12 years ago. But again, they have a great way of explaining what they do. They're certified Body Recall instructors, as was I. Uh, so it's an interesting uh, kind of an exploration of YouTube and Body Recall. So be aware of that. Okay, it's Friday. We're going to warm up with a foam ball. We're going to start with some large muscle groups. We're going to loosen up, just prepare our body for the rest of the day. And again, this is just part of a maintenance program, three times a week, 45 minutes. A pretty small investment uh, for the benefits and the payoff. So, take your foam ball. If you don't have a foam ball, take a rubber uh, balloon. I'm sorry to say a rubber band. <laughs> Take a balloon, take anything, a reasonable facsimile of that to focus on as we do the movement. So if you would, we're going to be seated in the A-sit position. That's nice and tall, out on the edge of our chair. We're going to prepare our body to move like I've asked before. What is the first thing you see a cat do when they get up from their bed? They engage in a long stretch. So that's basically what we're doing. A sit position, nice and tall, out on the edge of the chair. Place that foam ball on one side. Both hands touching it, roll it forward. As we roll it forward, go ahead and do that forward lean. Follow it all the way to the floor. Now concentrate on your lower spine. Release those muscles, let them stretch. Roll the ball to the center. We don't want to rush this, there's no rush. With your fingertips, roll that ball forward. Loosen up those that lower abdominal area, and feel that flexibility in the hips. Now roll the ball back to the other foot. Draw in your stomach, straighten your back as you roll that ball up. Good resistance in that lower spine. Roll the ball around you, all the way behind you. That's why we have the space between you and the chair. Bring it on the other side. Now roll it up that shoulder. Reach behind you, open up those shoulders, really a big move in the shoulders, extend that arm on one side, keep it outstretched. As you squeeze that foam ball, we're engaging those muscles, and that muscles surrounded by the uh, blood vessels, they, get, they massage those blood vessels, increasing the circulation. Keep that arm extended, good resistance for the shoulder. Backbone straight, head on the ceiling. Slowly bring that arm up overhead, a real big move in the shoulder, and now match it with your other hand. Not a big rush. There we go. Now push that ball to the ceiling. Get a good stretch. Reach, reach. Nice and tall, releasing the ball in the other hand. The same move. Squeeze, squeeze. Extend that arm. Good work. Squeeze. Engage that fist. Now, for shoulder work, with a flexible wrist, tuck that ball up under your arm. Ball up the fist. Press that elbow into the side. Focus on this shoulder and press it tight. Tight. Hold it. Hold it. And release. <clears throat> Again. Elbow into the side. Isometric exercise. Muscle against muscle. It's going to warm up that whole shoulder girdle. Good work. Release. And then again, press, press, press. Squeeze that foam ball. Press, press, press. Hold it, hold it, and release. Same thing in the other hand. Flexible wrist, ball up the fist, elbow into the side. Press it hard. Keep that muscle area tense in the shoulder, maintaining good strength and tone in the upper body, and then release. Again, <clears throat> elbow into the side. Press it tight, hold. Hold, good work, and release. Last time, and press, press, press. Isolate that work, keep that backbone straight, that posture is an exercise in itself, and then release. Bring your feet together, place that foam ball, foam ball between the knees, then 
Squeeze that foam ball. Press those knees together. Feel those inner thigh muscles engage and then hold it there. Press, press, press. Then release just a moment. Again, and press, press. Backbone straight, head on the ceiling. Maintain that posture. Be aware of your isolating that movement. Then release. And again, squeeze that foam ball. Tight, tight. Hold it, hold it. And release. Now, place the foam ball between your ankles. Slip back in the chair. This is what we call the B-sit position. You can brace yourself because we're going to pick the foam ball up, extend our lower legs back and forth, limbering up the knees, but also warming up those larger muscle groups in the legs, and relax. The next position, the C-sit position, slouch down in the chair. This enables us to isolate the abdominal muscles. We can feel all the work happening there. Those are crucial for good posture, supporting your back, and it protects your back. So, C-sit position, slouch down, nice and comfortable. Now, engage a pelvic tilt. Just feel those, those hips cup. Now, pick the foam ball up and bounce it with both feet. Catch it. Good work. Keep breathing. Be aware of that posture. Relax just a moment. It's warming up, okay? Pelvic tilt. Rotate that ball between the ankles. Good work. And release. Now the third one, we're gonna engage the pelvic tilt. Bend your knees, lift those feet up off the floor, bring that ball up, hold it, hand it to yourself. Good strength in the abdominals, keeping those legs lifted. And then place it back on the floor. Finally, this is the most strenuous, the most resistance, and it takes concentration. Don't forget to breathe. Pelvic tilt, double straight leg lift. Roll that ball to your waist, and then down. Oops. <laughs> Again, double straight leg lift. Roll that ball to your waist, and release. Good work. Let's sit up. We prepared for the next series of moves. This is going to be the foam ball sequence. It's just a complete body workout. First up, <clears throat> the first section of it is good upper body flexibility, shoulder, range of motion, all of that. And then we get into some real torso work when we're leaning from side to side, building up the strength and tone in those torso muscles and that core. Let's go through the moves first. A-sit position, nice and tall. Both hands touching the ball, swing it to one side. Now be aware, swing it a little bit wider. There we go, touch the chair, big move. Swing to the other side. We'll do that two times each side. Then touch the chair. Overhead, nudge, and then touch. Big move in the shoulders, nudge, and touch two times each side. Then we bring our elbows high, ball in the front, push it forward. We're gonna push it out there four times. On the fourth one, hold it there in one hand as you describe a full arm circle with the other nice straight arm, range of motion in that shoulder, other side. Good work. Bring the ball up overhead. Another big move in the shoulders. Hold it, the, whoops, hold it there, like I said. Torso twist to one side. Back to the front. Other side. We'll do that two times each side. Then we slightly twist over one knee with the nice straight arms. We do a forward touch the floor. Big forward lean, slow resistance in those lower back muscles. Touch and up. Overhead, cut loose and pendulum. Again, a big shoulder move. Here we go. On the fourth one, back overhead. Hide it behind your head. Engage those triceps and up. On the fourth one, bring it to the front. Both hands touching it. Bring it over to one shoulder. Squeeze it at the top. Other side and squeeze. We'll do that two times each side. Then is a big move in the torso. We reach to one side. See that torso flexibility. Put it on the floor. Scoot it across. Pick it up on the other side. Stretch and touch your waist. Wonderful range of motion, good resistance and toning in that torso. Then we sit up tall. We'll do it two times each side. 
bring the ball in front of you without leaning into it, bring that ball behind you to touch the chair. Good flexibility in the shoulders, two times each side. Forward lean, press it to the floor, touch your waist to the ceiling, then hold it out in front. Straight arm rotation, again, engage those arms all the way up into the shoulder, other side, bring it overhead, lean to one side, bend at the waist, lean to the other side and up wonderful the music stops i hope sometimes it does it has a mind of its own all right that's the foam ball sequence get ready we're going to do it with the music if you get a little bit behind don't worry there are some slower sections that uh you can catch up if you're new to this do it to the best of your ability here we go All right, ascent position, out on the edge of the chair. Hold that ball with both hands, bring it to one side, get ready, we swing and touch. Swing, keep in the rhythm of the music, one more time. Now touch the chair, overhead, and we nudge. Touch, big move, good work. Elbows high, push forward. put the foam ball away. Next we're going to do some balance challenges. That helps us keep a clear neuro pathway in our brain, training ourselves to maintain that upright uh, center of gravity and balance to help us avoid falls. Let me share a little bit of information from the book before we do those. Let your body rest just a minute. It says, in the course of any day, the demands of the body are varied and constant. The degree of one's effectiveness in life is closely related to the function of the body. It is important to put total body movement into every day, especially in the retirement years. We know that gaining independence in life is based on more than social, financial, and intellectual needs. If our physical support system is inadequate, the struggle for independence is more acute. There's more to consider than whether we are sick or well. Absence of infection does not mean good health. To be well does not mean we are physically fit. 
Most people believe their need for exercise diminishes as they grow older. This idea, coupled with the habit of underestimating their own physical needs and capabilities, leads to immobilization and deterioration of the body. Again, it's a movement machine and it thrives when we move. One announcement before we continue with the balance challenge is I've been thinking as the vaccinations uh, continue to be uh, administered in our area, I think this spring, after each of us have had our, our two vaccinations, uh, we might be able to begin again the physical attendance of class there at the Boys and Girls Club. We still have the arrangement with them, the use of that gym. Uh, it would probably be March, late February, early March. I think we'll know when everyone is comfortable with that. And of course, we will restart there at the gym uh, observing the uh, universal precautions. But that's just an idea. It would be great to be able to be together again. Now, for those of you who are not in this state, Tuscaloosa or up in Tennessee, I'll continue to have the camera and it will be videoed from there. But it's just exciting to me to think, you know, uh, we're going to come out of this thing this spring and with our vaccinations and safeguards in place, we can be together again. That, and that's a real boost for everybody. All right, let's do some balance challenges. If you would stand, come behind your chair. We're gonna first do toe rises. We go up on the ball of the foot and we hold that position nice and tall without much foot surface on the floor. Slow and controlled. Ready? Up on the ball of the foot, hold it there. Two, three, four, five, and release. Again, toe rise up. Two, three, four, Five, release. This time engage an arm raise with it. It's a little better challenge. Here we go. Arms up, toe rise, and hold. Two, three, four, five, and release. The longest challenge, come to the side of your chair. Keep it close if you need it for stability. Bring one foot up, place it on the stationary knee, and then hold it there 10 seconds. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're getting better at that. All right, next foot lift. Place it behind the stationary leg, a little lower center of gravity. While you're there, engage a knee bend. There we go. Bend the knee, the upper body moves, challenging. Be aware of what your ankle is doing down there. Knee bend, it's really communicating with your brain and up. Good work. Okay, other side, here we go. 10 seconds, foot lift, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Did I mention you have to concentrate? Yeah, okay, I lost mine. Foot lift, that's the first mistake I've made. All right, add a knee bend. Down and up. Good work, knee bend, and up. Next is what we call a narrow stance. We're going to stand tall, the heel of one shoe to the toe of the other. Facing forward without looking, I want you to step forward, step, heel to toe. Good work, good control. Here we go, reverse, heel to toe. Good concentration and hold it right there. Now, in this same position, we're going to pattern with our upper body. We're gonna reach and touch our shoulders and down. Touch to the side, up to the ceiling, out in front. Remember that pattern. Let's do it quickly now. Touch, side, ceiling, front. All that upper body movement is challenging that sense of gravity and center of balance. Here we go. Reverse the feet, slowly pattern. Touch to the side. Ceiling, front. Good work. Quickly touch, side, ceiling, front. And relax. Good work. <clears throat> Let's do a neuroplasticity challenge. That's where we engage our cognitive function, our thought process with our body movement. Separate your feet. Extend one arm to the side, palm down, fingers pointed. Describe a small circle. 
Maintain that circling and then pattern with your hand. Touch and down, touch, side, ceiling, front, relax. Reverse the circle, reverse the pattern, touch to the front, ceiling, side, and relax. That's a lot of complicated thought process and moving. Other side, same thing. We're just establishing that neuro pathway and keeping our cognitive function active. Okay, pattern with your hand. Touch, side, ceiling, front, relax, reverse the circle, reverse the pattern, touch, front, ceiling, side. Good work, relax. Let's do that patterning, but we're gonna challenge ourselves by having one arm, one move ahead of the other, all right? Here we go, we start with a one hand, here we go. Touch and down, then both, touch, one goes into the patterning, the other one follows. Good work. There we go, and finished. Let's do that quickly, touch, both, here we go. That neuro pathway is there, and relax. Good work. Let's do two foot lifts. We're going to do uh, lift that foot on both sides, two times slow and controlled, so that you maintain that center of gravity, okay? Foot lift. Bring that knee up nice and high. There we go. Good control. Good sense of balance. Relax. Again. Lift. Good work, good control, and relax. Notice what that stationary ankle is doing. Other side, foot lift, and down. It's incredible. Again, foot lift, and down. Finally, separate your feet for good balance. Elbows are high. Arm fling torso twist one, one side at the time and follow your hand with your eyes. Ready? Arm fling, torso twist, really, Fling that arm around there. Good flexible spine. Your brain is processing the background as that hand moves again. Torso twist. Arm fling. Back to the front. And release. Good work. Now we've prepared ourselves. We've uh, got our body all warmed up and flexible. Let's continue with the exercises. If you would, be seated. We're going to sit in the A-sit position. The first thing, we're going to take our feet out of these shoes. We're going to free up our toes for range of motion and flexibility and strength. If you keep your shoes on, I want you to do a toe rise and then toe curl inside your shoes to the point that your toes get a little bit tired. That helps maintain the strength. First, two deep breaths, hands to the side. Let's breathe in. Expand the lungs, blow out the candles. Again, breathe in. And out. Plenty of oxygen in the blood. All right. Now, first thing, backbone straight, head on the ceiling. We're out on the edge of the chair in the A-sit position. Maintain that tall posture. Lift your toes off the floor, curl them under, drag your heels behind, and toe crawl. Crawl. Really put some energy in the toes. Good work. When you're as far as you go, bring them back, and again, toe crawl, crawl. Good energy in those toes, increasing that blood circulation right to the tips of the toes. Crawl, there we go, and release. Now, flex the ankles, come up on the tiptoes nice and tall. Be conscious of those calf muscles as they contract, and you go up on the tiptoes nice and tall. Up, backbone straight, head on the ceiling, this time, come up on both, then go down on one heel and then the other, and then pedal, pedal, pedal. Really flex those calf muscles. Come up way high up on the tiptoes, pedal, 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 and relax. Maintaining good strength and tone in the lower legs. Loosen up the knee, bring one knee up, cradle that leg in your hand, extend the foot back and forth, full range of motion in that joint, and back and forth. Good work and relax. Other side, same thing. Knee lift, cradle that leg. Extend the foot, getting that synovial fluid activated in the joint, keeping our joints healthy and in tune. 
Good work and relax. Now, we're gonna do a knee lift on one side, point the toe, flex the ankle, describe a full circle. While we do that, we're going to pattern with our other hand. This is, a, again, combining that thought process with physical movement. A sit position, nice and tall. Foot lift, point the toe, circle, and then pattern. There we go. Do the first pattern, circle, circle, Keep that knee lifted, circle, circle, good posture. Now reverse the circle, reverse the pattern, touch to the front, ceiling, side, and release. Keep that leg lifted, maintaining that strength and tone in that leg, good resistance, and relax. Other side, knee lift, point the toe, circle, and pattern, touch to the side, ceiling, front. Good work, keep that leg up, circle, good flexible ankles, circle. Now reverse the circle, keep that knee lifted, reverse the pattern, touch to the front, ceiling, side. There we go, keep it lifted, good strength and tone, a little bit of fatigue in that leg, and then relax. Finally, in the A-sit position, touch your toes together. Now press your knees like you have that foam ball between them, and while you press them together, do a toe rise. Down on the heels, turn the toes out to the side as far as possible, and come up on the tiptoes. Keep that nice tall posture. This is a good core exercise too. Maintaining that tall posture, flexing those hips, toes touch, knees press, rise up, toes out, and relax. Slip into the B-sit position. Let's take two deep breaths and then we'll continue. Hands to the side, breathe in. Expand the lungs, blow out the candles. Clear your mind again. Plenty of oxygen and... Now, while we're in the B-sit position, we're gonna concentrate on torso flexibility and it also involves some resistance for the back and toning up those muscles, as well as range of motion in the hips. So, you're sitting back touching the back of the chair. Slowly lean to one side. Visualize that lower spine. Be conscious, some muscles relax, some brace, and come back up slowly. Monitor your breathing, there's a lot to keep in mind. Over to the other side. Wonderful range of motion. Come back up, up, and over. There goes my chair, straining. <laughs> Hopefully it won't collapse, and over. Good work. This time we sit up, and then we lean over. And when you're as far as you can go, bring that upper arm up overhead, all the way over, point to that wall, keep breathing, arm down. Feel those muscles brace, good strength and tone, wonderful flexibility in the lower spine. Over, arm up, over, stretch, arm down, sit up, and relax. Next, we're gonna do a forward lean, separate your knees. We're going to bring our torso out over the front of the chair, and I want you to really visualize your lower spine and concentrate and try to come as far over as you can. Ready? Hands lead forward, lean out over the front of the chair. Feel that torso come over, 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 a little bit further. There we go. Feel it all the way up into the hip joints. Relax the neck, let the head drop. Relax the stomach, take a breath, feel what happens in the lower abdominals and the hip joints, good. Draw in the stomach, straighten the back, sit up tall, 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 where we started. Again, hands lead forward, torso out over the front of the chair, wonderful flexible lower spine, relax the neck, the head drops, take a breath. Draw in the stomach, straighten the back, sit up tall, tall, all the way. Good work. Next, with your knees separated, extend your arms out to the side. Torso twist over one knee. Slowly lean over. Now, when you're as far over as you go, wrap those arms behind the back of that knee. Relax those muscles, feel that stretch. Wonderful, arms out, sit up, torso twist, hug, relax. 
arms out. It takes concentration to do all of the postures correctly, range of motion, breathing rhythm, strength and tone, arms out. Wonderful and relax. Bring your knees closer to the front. Clasp your hands behind your head. Torso twist to one side. And as your torso twisted, do a forward lean and touch. Come up. Torso twist, forward lean. Touch, slow and controlled. Keep those muscles engaged. Torso twist, here we go. Touch. Torso twist. Touch. And relax. Good work. Finally, knees separated. Forward lean, hands down. Palms to the floor. Scoop those arms in front of you. Then over your head. And as you sit up, reach. 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 As you sit back up, reach. Again. Hands lead forward, palms down. Scoop up in front and reach. 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 Nice and tall. Reach and relax. Wonderful resistance for that lower spine, building up strength and tone in those muscles. Bring your feet to the front. We're going into the C-sit position. Slouch down in the chair. This enables us to focus on the abdominals. That's what's happening behind the stomach, and it helps maintain a healthy back and a nice tall posture. All right? In this C-sit position, I want you to do a pelvic tilt. Cup those hips up. With that engage, bring one knee up. Keep breathing. Isolate this work. Keep that pelvic tilt engaged. Knee lift. Feel it right in the abdominals. Knee lift. Release. Knee lift. Good work. Relax just a moment. Check your posture. Pelvic tilt. Knee lift on one side. Hold that leg with both hands. Now slowly pull that knee in and touch your nose. Then release. A good back stretch. It takes me two times on each side before I can reach my nose. And I don't have a small nose. Knee lift. Pull it in. Here we go. There's the nose. And release. A good back stretch. Knee lift. And touch. Done. Relax. Next, check the posture. Pelvic tilt. Knee lift on one side. Extend that lower leg, a nice straight leg, and then slowly lower. Notice what's happening in your shoulders and your neck. That should not be tensed. Everything's happening in the abdominals. Nice, flexible shoulders and neck. One more time. Knee lift. That's approximately 40 pounds of resistance directly into the abdominals. Good, strong core. And relax. Next, <clears throat> we're going to engage a pelvic tilt, bring a straight leg up, and describe a nice big circle. And then reverse the circle. <clears throat> Monitor your breathing and your posture. Here we go. Pelvic tilt, straight leg lift. Describe that circle. Cross the front. There we go. Now don't rush it. I know you would like to get this over with a little more quickly. But don't do that. And relax. Other side. Straight leg lift, full circle, cross the front, reverse, good work, here we go, up, and relax. For fun, since it's Friday, we're going to do a pelvic tilt, bend our knees, bring our feet up, separate the knees, and bring back together. Extend the lower leg, there we go, 80 pounds of resistance, slow and controlled, bend the knees, open them up. It's a fun routine, okay? It's Friday. Pelvic tilt, double knees up. Separate the knees. This is not difficult, like your feet are praying. Bring the knees back together. Here we go. Extend those lower legs. Hold it there for a moment. Monitor your breathing. 80 pounds of resistance. Knees bend. Good control. Good stability. Knees together. Extend and relax. Aren't you glad that's over? If that's fun. <laughs> okay, come out in the A-sit position. We're going to relax the abdominals and our, our legs. Let's take two deep breaths and we'll continue. Hands to the side. Expand the lungs. Breathe in. And blow out the candles. Really expand the lungs. Breathe in. 
oxygen in the blood and blow out the candles. Now, out in the A-sit position, backbone straight, head on the ceiling, hands to the side. We first open and close the fingers. And when we close the fingers, clench a fist, feel those muscles contract. Keep that movement going, bring your arms forward. <coughs> open, close, open, close. Out to the side, open. Good work. Nice tall posture, bring those arms back to the front. Open, close. Down to the side, open, close. And shake it out. Same posture, A sit. Flex the wrist, describe full circles. Bring the arms forward as you do that. Really flex the wrists and get a full range of motion, a circular motion. Arms out to the side as you circle. Circle. <clears throat> Reverse the circle. Back to the front. Down to the side. Your arms are getting tired. Good work. And shake it out. Let's work on the shoulders a little. Extend the arms out. Good work. Describe small circles. There we go. Arms extended, the circle directly, movement out of the shoulders, reverse the circle. Good work. Backbone straight, head on the ceiling, hold it steady. Flex the wrist, point to the ceiling. Flex and reach under, 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 point. Flex, last time, point, flex. Palms down, fingers pointed, straight arm rotation. Rotate those arms until your palms are up at the ceiling. Then rotate under, 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 a little further. Good work, and up, under, and relax. Good fatigue in the shoulders. Let's do two shoulder shrugs. Shrug up, and press down, make the neck long. Shrug up tightly under the ears, press down and relax. Now, let's take a moment, relax the shoulders, one shoulder circle at a time. Here we go, shoulders forward, up, behind and down, circle, loosen up all of that connective tissue in that shoulder girdle, now reverse the circle, get all the tension out, and relax. Good work, other side, circle, Good work, circle, all that tension out from all that stress, reverse the circle, circle, and relax. All right, full arm circle, range of motion in that shoulder, bring that arm forward, reach overhead, there we go, behind you and down, full circle, reach, and reach. Good work, relax. Other side, full circle. Make sure you're using that full range of motion in that shoulder, last time, and relax. Now, we've taken time, we've paid attention to all that shoulder area. Now we're gonna provide some resistance. We're going to hold the bottom of the chair, press down, feel our torso lift, not shifting the weight into the legs. We hold it with our arms and shoulders, Suspended for five seconds. Here we go. Hands on the bottom of the chair. Press down, lift up. Hold it there. Two, three, four, five, and release. Good strength in the arms and shoulders. Good upper body tone. Scoot your feet forward. Hold the bottom of the chair. Press down, lift up, swing out over the front of the chair. But again, don't shift your weight into your legs. It's all in the shoulders and arms. Back to the chair and relax. The third one, full range of motion. We're going to lift that torso, swing it out over the chair, bring it down until you're seated on the floor. Press down, lift that torso back to the chair two times. If you're not comfortable with that, do either of the previous two. Ready? Press down, lift up, swing out. Now, swing down. There we go. Press down, lift up. Good strength. Again, this helps us pick up all those grocery bags and one trip back to the chair and relax. Finally, in the A-sit position, flex that lower spine, feel that hip on one side, come up off the chair, keep that torso nice and tall, focus lower back, ready? Hip lift on one side, arms to that side, reverse, hip down, hip lift, really engage those muscles, lift that hip up off the chair, down, hip lift, 
Good work, last time, hip down, hip lift. Good tone in the lower spine and relax. Slip into the B-sit position, your back touching the back of the chair. Let's work on leg strength, excuse me, hip flexibility, good control in those muscle groups. Extend the foot on one side. Feel those muscles tense up. Now with that engaged, try to the side, slowly. Open up the hip, bring it back, relax. Other side, extend, stride, good work. Again, large muscle groups engaged, stride, good control, good toning work, relax, other side, good work, relax. Let's get a stretch in the back of the legs, extend the feet forward, point the toes, flex the ankles, pretend you have a string on your toes, pull them back toward you, feel a stretch in the back of the legs, point. Flex, we'll take time to do this in a standing position in a minute. Point, flex. <clears throat> We're going to extend the feet. This is where we really engage and tense up the large muscle uh, tire. I see a message uh, trying to reconnect. If I'm losing connections, hang on there, I'm still here. Ready, extend the feet, point the toes, stiffen the knees, flutter kick. Now, tense up those large muscle groups and kick, 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 kick. Good energy, warm up those legs, and release. Again, catch up with me when it comes back on. Kick, 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 kick. Good energy, and relax. Now, <clears throat> extend the foot of one leg, then lift that straight leg up as high as you can. Two, three, four, five, and release. Other side, extend, lift, two, three, four, five. Sorry for the glitch. I'm not sure what's happening with the internet connection. You know the moves, good work. Relax, extend, lift, hold, and relax. Now, finishing, extend the feet, point the toes, circle the ankles, bend your knees as you circle without contorting your face and relax. For fun, extend the feet, point the toes, reverse the circle, bend the knees, and relax. <laughs> I'm sorry for the glitch in this uh, video. Let's end with standing work. Here we go. For those of you who have done this for several years, you know what's happening. All right, we're going to lean forward, holding the chair, feet pointing toward the bottom of the chair. Extend one foot behind you on the ball of the foot. Press that heel to the floor. Bend the forward knee slowly, slowly. Get a good deep muscle stretch. Hold, hold. The video is way behind at this point, I see. Release. A good stretch in the back of the leg. We'll just do it two times each side. Heel to the floor, forward lean. Good work, stretch.